it. Got so frustrated with him. <laughs> and you, you said, said he used that. to hold his cue, kind of like... He holds the rest like that, and I've tried to show him because he's a friend of mine, but he's, he's not, not interested. Either. But some people don't even like um, the spider, and they put, the, as Martin Gould did, he puts the rest on top of the spider, so you, it actually feels like you're playing with the rest. Excuse me, mate. I saw it went in. <laughs> but with uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan, as he's going to show you, he can play with both hands. Well, that, I guess, is where you can get past the rest, Ron. You can go down either side of the table and pick well, hand. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't mind using the rest, but um, I, if I was to play a shot like this, uh, right-handed, you know, over this side here, yeah. as a, as a right-handed player, you couldn't reach that shot. No. So, rather than get the rest out, I'd just be able to just lean over and just play it like it's a normal shot. Which is a little bit of an advantage. But, um, I think it's a sizable advantage. Huge advantage. Yeah, and is that something that you've always had? Comfortable to be? No, no, I was just so poor um, right-handed. I just thought I felt <laughs> a bit more comfortable left-handed. And really? I just started playing left-handed because I enjoyed it more and the shots felt a bit more stable in the shot, but I realised I couldn't play all matches like that, so I just used to do it just to kind of... Do you ever have a match against yourself, right against left? Uh, I used to play alternative shot because I thought I was, I was trying to find the right balance, but... Um, but you break left-handed all the time, don't yeah, you? I break left-handed so I get a, a better... I don't always leave... When I break left-handed, I'm never leaving the shot to nothing, which used to cost me matches against someone like John Higgins. I'd be controlling the match, leave the white ear, shot to nothing, he'd pot it, and I wouldn't see a ball for four or five frames. So the break-off's a really important shot. I don't get in a massive amount of trouble, but they don't pop balls off of my break, which is better for me, because then I can get into the game a bit more. Mm. Who are the best, apart from Jim, obviously, who are the best rest players? Well, I have to say that Ronnie, despite the fact that he uses it less because he plays with his left hand, he's one of the best around. I'm not just saying it because he's here. Uh, Sean Murphy's very good. He's, he is one of the best around as well of the, the current day players who needs to on shots from the other side of the table, but this man's pretty good. These two are as good as anybody, actually. And, and also, is that because you practice or you just got an ability with you it? Get, you just get used to it. It's part, it's part of the, you know, it's part of the game, but you, there's a few players. Um, Tony Mio used to